All right, designers, Angel here, Acevedo. I actually wanna change my name, Angel. A little too unisex. Maybe I could just stick to Acevedo, 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 Avocado. That's what I'm known for in certain parts of the world. Hope you guys are well. I'm here uh, wearing my studio uniform. You know, they're making me wear it. Um, the bosses, the higher ups, the suits. I'm mean, wearing my uh, my own uniform. You know, so uh, it's beige and. Uh, Got Helvetica all over the place, so win-win situation. Thank you for watching my video. I have a couple of things to talk to you guys about. COVID Creative Coalition update. If you're unfamiliar, I teamed up with Prism Creative Group and Support Local Florida to get a coalition together, a team, assembling Avengers of Creatives to help small businesses that close their brick and mortar shops and spots, fitness studios, restaurants, you know, things like that. Post a COVID call to creatives a few weeks ago and it was wild. It was the most intense 40 seconds of video I've ever done in my life with uh, so many copyright infringing anime effects, I couldn't even count. But it worked, friends. Almost two dozen individuals, creatives, vendors, teamed up, assembled to help local Miami businesses and I'm so excited about that. We are now at over 30 projects that we're working on. We got this Google Sheet where we're keeping track of all the projects and it's super, super fresh. As a matter of fact, today we're doing our first assemblage. We're assembling uh, via Zoom, uh, chatting and catching up with everyone and just going over all the projects that we're working on. I've done a few already. One of my favorites is uh, some social media graphics for Moonlighter Fab Lab. Shout out to them. They're actually creating face shields that they're donating. So Coca-Cola donated to them just some plastic that, I mean, I don't know what the science is behind that, but they somehow turned the donated plastic into face shields and it is really, really cool. So I was able to do a couple of social media posts for them that they're able to use on Insta Story and Instagram, so. And lastly, in portfolio updates, I also got in the mail the Boston Lookbook and Price Guide. This was a project that we worked on last year, 2019, and got printed earlier this year. I'm excited to share it. I want you guys to check this out. So come with me and let's take a look at the Boston Lookbook and Price Guide, and let's check out all the neat features. Transition, Angel. Transition here, from here to the... Favorite, my favorite client, Boston, for letting us just have fun. A three-part project, and we created a lookbook, a price guide, and an apparel mini lookbook. This is the first time I see this, so I'm very, very excited to see how this turned out. When we need, when we sent this to the print shop uh, for the reds, we used PMS 185, which is a classic red, just to make sure that all the reds are consistent. Look at that red. Ooh, nice, beautiful. Cover. Deboss, PMS 185, got some information on the sides. I went with this really high and elegant sort of vibe. Some nice little design details. These are shipped all over the world. So we gotta add the United States of America, of course. You can probably see the Deboss right here. Parchment paper, red with foil, white. Big typography, Alveda Canal. PMS red and CMYK red. You can see that here, the differences a little bit more muted. So we opted to just do it in the cover. It's just it wasn't necessary to do it all throughout. Layout's all the same. It's difficult because the different wheel series have different features. So we had to create some kind of layout convention for all the wheel series. The headers, footers, page numbers, all this information was done on a master of the InDesign file. The apparel, some of the apparel. My favorite part, shout out to Adam's Polishes, did these labels as well. Some of that merch, 
Some of the wearables. Probably my favorite right here. All these little elements had to be designed. Created all the elements, woven labels, tags, silicone labels. This jacket is so beast. It's custom built and uh, has all these little flight badges or flight uh, tags. Velcro that are removable. Engineered art, man. I always like ending with like, just like a flood of color. It's like a good outro and a good intro. Start, start with uh, color and with color. When creating catalogs like these, we're using the editorial design skills to have certain goals. These goals are important. It's not just about aesthetics. It's not just about making it look cool. You have to think about the user experience. Essentially, you're teaching the user, the person that's flipping through these books, where things are, how they work, and what to look for when you're flipping through the pages. In this case, we made three different catalogs, so we had to create a layout that worked for all three sizes so that the end user, as they're flipping through the different ones, they are able to spot things really quickly. So it's important, not just the aesthetics, not just that it looks cool or that it's trendy, but the clarity, the functionality, and the consistency of the pieces. In this case, we made three, and we needed all three pieces to be a part of one unit, to be companions of each other. That's it for today's episode. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you liked the lack of anime effects in this episode. I just can't do it. That 40 second clip took me like three hours to make. It was wild. Don't forget, always keep making beautiful things and I'll see you guys next time. And slide. should leave stuff like this like at the end where um, I'm just sitting here. This is stuff that people don't see because of the quick cuts. You don't see stuff like this. So what's up? You're still here? Or you wanna, you wanna hang out? Have a beer? Actually, I gotta go, I gotta Zoom call, so. All right, guys. Fun fact, I am around here somewhere. Boom. Look at your boy right there, dog.